So I'm just sitting here about to go to bed, but I was just looking at this little cute little inspirational um, book that my Aunt Judy just gave me. We just saw my Aunt Judy and I love her so much. She's so sweet. She gave me this little devotional and I'm catching up to today. So since I just got it, I was just looking at these and it's the house is quiet. The girls are asleep, or Ari is going to sleep. Um, Nora's already asleep and tucked in, and tonight is the second night that Joseph is staying at his place. So, not sure when I'm going to win or if I'm going to end up posting this, but to share my experience. But I'm not going to lie, it's definitely difficult um, in a lot of ways. It's, it's just, it's not easy. It's not an easy process, but that doesn't mean it's not necessary. Um, sometimes in life, you know, we just have to do what we feel is best in the moment and, and for the situation and have faith and pray to God for guidance and just keep moving forward and the best that we can and make the best decisions we can make. And it doesn't mean, you know, that it's going to be easy just because you're sad or, you know, it's bittersweet or whatever doesn't mean that it's not the right decision for right then. And who knows what will happen in the future, but for right now, um, I'm just kind of actually looking forward to having this time by myself at night before I, I close my eyes I'm gonna start trying to read the Bible at night even if it's only a couple chapters but I love looking over these scriptures let him have all your worries and cares for he is always thinking about you and watching everything that concerns you um, there's more happiness in a single moment of God's presence than in anything else in life <clears throat> that's so true you have let me experience the joys of life and the exquisite pleasures of your own eternal presence. I love that. Joys of life and the exquisite pleasures of your own eternal presence. Go after your dreams. God created you to live them. When dreams come true at last, there is life and joy. She loved the Lord with she loved the Lord with all her heart and it cast an amazing light on everything she did. God looked over all that he had made, and it was excellent in every way. Every woman should have a mirror that reflects her spirit. That's where God brings out her true beauty. Be beautiful inside, in your hearts, with the lasting charm of a gentle and quiet spirit that is so precious to God. She welcomes the years with arms open wide and loves life with the kind of passion that comes straight from God. Rejoice in every day of life. Every day is a blessing. The good things God has for you are more exciting than a clearance shoe sale and a box of chocolate put together. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy you with all good things. Be inspired. Be brave. Be you. Your workmanship is marvelous and how well I know it. You were there while I was being formed in utter seclusion. That's awesome. She lives, she loves, she laughs. She makes every day a celebration of who she is in Christ. Because of what Christ has done, we have become gifts to God that he delights in. Be fabulous. God spared no enthusiasm when he created you. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. It is amazing to think about. She's the kind of person who looks at a cloud and says to herself, there's a rainbow coming in just a little while. Then she kicks off her shoes and dances in the puddles until the sun comes out again. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They're good. They're plans for good. No doubt about it, a woman on fire for God is a force to be reckoned with. Amen to that. Love the Lord and follow his plan for your lives. Cling to him and serve him enthusiastically. In hard times, she had learned three things. She was stronger than she ever imagined. Jesus was closer than she ever realized. And she was loved more than she ever knew. Oh, that's so sweet. God loves you very much. Don't be afraid. Calm yourself. Be strong. Yes, strong. Her spirit loved to bask in the brightness of her future. A bright future lies ahead. Okay, so here's today. 
March 1st, a woman armed with, a woman, there's another one about chocolate, armed with chocolate in a prayer partner needs little else to get through the day. So I'm going to go ahead and set this for tomorrow. Tomorrow will be March 2nd. And if two of you agree down here on earth concerning anything you ask for, my father in heaven will do it for you. That's Matthew 18, 19. Excuse me. And I love that. And I'm going to put this right here. Yeah, my Aunt Judy gave me that, and I love it. If I could get it to stand up. There we go. But, yeah, just, um, it's not easy going through a separation. But, like I said, that doesn't mean that it's not necessary. So, if you're going through a separation, just hang in there and just take that time to try to re reflect and refocus and refresh and um, recenter, rebalance, just re everything. Like, just, you know, you take advantage of that time to really pull in and seek God and His guidance for your life and see what He wants you to do and just get closer to Him because I know it's easy to get complacent sometimes and, you know, to just kind of not spend that time with Him, but it's so important each day that we do and you know that way we can hear his voice clear throughout the day but anyways i'm about to go to sleep it's about 10 15 and i hope y'all have a good night i'll talk to you later